Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel or if you're just stumbling across today's video. My name is Emma. So in today's video, I'm finally doing the Stunning Queen Mermaid Crimped Hair Tutorial. You guys have always DM'd me about this ever since I started doing it, even with my short hair. Um, but now I've been doing it for a couple months now and I feel like I'm kind of a pro at it. So I finally found some time to sit down and film this tutorial for you guys because every time I post on Instagram of these curls or these waves, everyone always DM's me and asks me how to do these waves because I know a lot of you guys are curious to know how exactly how to do it because they're not like the average waves that every girl does does usually um, and it can be a little intimidating to do it with a straightener to be honest yeah this is my first real hair tutorial that I'm filming for you guys and honestly it was a little bit of a struggle buzz curling your hair and talking at the same time is quite a challenge at least for me so filming this tutorial hopefully I got my point across and hopefully you guys learn how to do the stunning queen mermaid crimped hair waves okay so I'm gonna stop talking now and let's get right into the video so this is what my hair looks like out fresh out of the shower. I just blow dried it. Um, I usually try to blow dry my hair before I do the crimps just because it's a lot smoother that way. As you're gonna see further on in the tutorial, it'll just go a lot smoother if your hair is like freshly blown out. Since we are crimping our hair with a straightener, the curls tend to last a little bit longer than you would with like a barrel. Um, so I try to blow dry my hair and then leave it for like a day or two. That's kind of how long my hair lasts. But if your hair lasts longer, good for you. I'm really jealous, especially with my extensions underneath. As you'll see, I have tape-ins. They always recommend to blow dry your hair after the shower and not let it air dry just because it pulls down at the tape-ins or at the extensions. So yeah, for the sake of today's video, I blow dried my entire head um, so I can kind of start out with like a smooth blank canvas to do the best mermaid waves or crimped waves, however you guys want to call it. So yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so there's a few things that you're going to need before you get started. So one is a scrunchie and some people prefer to use clips in their hair. I just just prefer scrunchies I always use scrunchies I have them all over the house it's just easier and more accessible for me um, so I'm actually using the do it by Caitlin Bristow um, scrunchie and I'm obsessed with her scrunchies she sent me a few of them and they are so durable and so strong so just a little shout out so the first thing you're going to do is obviously turn on your straightener so I'm using the t3 2 inch straightener I believe that's what it's called I'll have the exact name here and I'll also have it linked down below for you guys so you guys know exactly which straightener this is um, but it is my favorite I like it because it has kind of like rounded edges and it makes it easier to do the crimp rather than if it was like some sharp squared edges it would probably kink your hair in like the wrong way um, so this is like the perfect straightener for this so if you guys are looking for one to do these curls I'll have it linked down below so while the straightener is heating up I'm going to section off my hair and by the way if I'm looking over here I have my mirror set up so it's a lot easier so if I keep looking over there that is why so I prefer to section off my hair into three parts so I'm gonna do the bottom layer and then I'm gonna do the middle layer and then I'm gonna do the top layer and since I have extensions um, it, I kind of have to like find the perfect section and kind of evenly distribute the extensions um, just so it's a lot easier to do the curls. So what I do is I kind of just twirl it up into a bun and secure my little scrunchie around it so it's not moving and then I section off the hair onto both sides of my neck. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do the crimped mermaid hair. So the first thing I do is I grab a piece of hair about maybe like two inches, I would say about this much. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start outwards. So since I have fine hair, I wanna start outwards to give myself that like extra volume. Um, some people start inwards, some people kinda go back and forth, but I prefer to just always go outwards starting on my curls. Like I said, because I have pretty fine hair. Even with my extensions, I like to give myself as much volume as possible. Um, so that is what I'm gonna do. So pretty much you're gonna wanna start out and then you're gonna wanna flip it really, really fast and then just kind of continue it all the way down your head. And you're not gonna wanna stop because it'll give yourself like a really harsh crimp and that's not what you want. Um, and then at the bottom, make sure to straighten it. Since you want that like beachy, mermaidy, very like crimped, messy look, you're gonna wanna straighten the ends after every time you're curling down the head. So every time you crimp down, do not crimp inwards or outwards on the ends of the hair. Make sure to kind of straighten it for the last like inch or two. So I'll show you guys one more time. So I'll grab about this much. And again, I'll start outwards and continue down the head without pausing because you do not want a harsh crimp. And then you straighten it at the end. So again, you go away from your head and then don't stop or don't pause because you don't want a really, really harsh crimp. 
And then when you're at the end, make sure to straighten it like that. So that is pretty much what you do around your entire head. Um, I can do it on this side and show you guys one more time. If I grab about an inch or two of hair, and again, I'm gonna start outwards, flip it in, flip it back out, flip it in, and do that throughout the entire hair. And then at the end, straighten it up. So yeah, it's like a super simple wave. I know it kind of looks intimidating and it kind of can be hard to kind of get the right motion at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's super, super easy. So I'm gonna finish the entire bottom layer and then we will get to the second layer together. Okay, and then when I'm done the first layer, I'm just gonna go over with Waze hairspray and I'm just gonna kind of lightly mist over top of it. Um, like I said, since it is a straightener and not a curler, um, I find that the waves tend to actually last a lot longer and you actually don't need much hairspray, um, but I always just go in each layer um, just to have the extra hold because like I said, it is a little bit of a time consuming curl. Um, so I do like to let it last like at least a day or two. Um, and I actually find that the longer you kind of leave it, um, the prettier and like the more like lived in it looks. So I actually don't like to use that much hairspray. Okay, and then we're gonna go on to the second layer. So pretty much how I split it up is that I do the bottom layer, obviously. Second layer, <laughs> I look like a crazy person right now. <laughs> I swear, this is what I literally do on, on the daily. Like I said, I pretty much like to section off my hair in like the bottom layer, the middle layer, and the top layer. So I try to do my extensions in the bottom and middle layer, and then the top layer is strictly just my natural hair. So for this next section off I'm gonna do is I'm gonna literally put my finger, run my finger through my hair, and find all of my natural hair on the crown of my head. Um, and I'm going to split that up. As you can see, you can see my extensions here. Um, so I'm pretty much just gonna take all my natural hair and take it and put it on this side. I'm clearly not a hairstylist. I'm just showing you guys the real way I actually do my hair every day. And I'm not even joking. This is what I look like every morning when I'm doing my hair. Okay, so going forward, obviously it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just gonna do what I did on the bottom layer onto the middle layer. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of repeat that all over my entire head. Again, I'm gonna start outwards to give myself as much volume as possible. And then I'm just going to continue the crimp all the way down the hair. And again, I'm gonna straighten the bottoms. And there you go. So again, I'm gonna go in lightly with the hairspray on top to kind of do a light layer of it on each section, just to make sure that it has extra hold. Um, and that they're not gonna go anywhere. Okay, and then to tie my hair up for the last layer, like I said, I'm gonna do the entire like crown of my head and all the natural hair on my head. Okay, and then for the last layer on my head, like I said, I tied up all of my natural hair on like the crown of my head. I find that I have to do that because I wanna maximize all of the volume that I can on my hair. Like I said, I have super fine hair, and obviously the top of your head is gonna be the part where the volume has to stay the most. So I curl the top of my head by itself, um, just so I can get like the biggest and nicest curl I can and just like have the most volume in this. Does that, I don't even know if that makes sense, but that just works for me. Um, so again, you can always try it for yourself, but so again, I'm just gonna go in and do the exact same thing I've done around my entire head um, But this time I'm gonna do it just a little bit slower Like I said because I want to make the most volume out of these waves um, Because these are the, gonna be the waves that everyone is gonna be seeing on your head Okay, so this piece is the most crucial piece to the entire hairstyle. You want it to perfectly frame your face. So make sure you go outwards, just like you've done on the rest of your head, but you really wanna make sure that you curl it until a little bit below your eye, and then you keep going, because you want it to perfectly, like I said, frame your face and have it in the most flattering way. Um, and that's what I find is the most flattering. So, so yeah, I'm gonna start off at the top, and I'm just gonna work my way down and make sure to kind of hold that curl out, like I said, until below my eye and then you're obviously going to straighten it out at the bottom so so you see that my curl kind of lands right below my eye I find that's just kind of like the most flattering on me anyways and I feel like on every kind of face shape it would be the most flattering okay so now that I've finished this side I'm gonna go ahead and finish this side and then we will do the after products as well Okay, so 
that is it for the curls. Now, for the products that I use after to finish off the look, I like to go in with the Waze Matte Pomade. You guys know I'm obsessed with all their products. It smells so good. Um, but I've actually been using this product for a really long time. So I use the Matte Pomade pretty much to add texture and to kind of make it so it's a little bit more of like a PC beachy look. Um, and then especially, I like to use it because since I have extensions, like I mentioned to you guys, I like to use it to kind of blend in my extensions with my real hair to make it as natural as possible. So I'll show you guys how I do that. So I'm gonna take about this much on my finger and kind of rub it in my hands. Um, and then I'm just gonna kind of go over it like this and kind of move my fingers to make it like a very piecey look and to kind of blend my extensions with my real hair. And then I'm gonna just kind of rub the ends again to make it super piecey and beachy. That's definitely the look we're going for in this tutorial. So I really, really like the pomade. So I feel like it just kind of finishes off the look perfectly. Um, and really gives it that textured look that we want. Also, another great thing that the pomade is good for is that you can kind of use the residue on your hands and kind of lightly pat the top of your head to kind of defrizz the top of your head because I know if you're blow drying your hair right before this, like I did, um, your hair is gonna be just naturally a little bit frizzy. So it's always good to kind of finish it off and just kind of tame the frizz, which the matte pomade is super good for. So just kind of use the extra residue on your hands and kind of pat it down lightly. Okay, and then the last and the final product that I will be using today is the Way Texturizing Hairspray. And this guy saves lives if you have fine, thin hair um, and you struggle with volume and texture. I'm literally obsessed with this product. I use it probably too much. I go through these bottles like you won't even believe. I'm, I'm always at Sephora and I'm always like buying new ones. I swear I clear their shelves. But it's honestly just such a good way to kind of finish off a look. Like I said, if you have very fine hair, you just kind of spray it at your roots. Um, and it just kind of gives you that extra volume and extra texture that you're definitely wanting in this hair in this hairstyle because like I said, it's supposed to be like a very like lived in beachy look. Um, and it just kind of gives you that extra volume that you know everybody wants. So I just kind of spray it on my roots and then I kind of just go through it lightly around my whole head. So yeah, that is pretty much the final look for the crimped mermaid hairstyle that I always do. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and learned a little bit and really learned how to do the wave. This was like my first real time doing a tutorial, so bear with me, I hope it was okay. Hopefully I kind of taught you guys how to do the motion and how to do the crimp because it is super easy once you figure it out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely let me know in the comments what kind of tutorials, other tutorials you wanna see from me, like my makeup routine or my skincare routine or anything like that definitely let me know I definitely want to hear your suggestions definitely tag me if you guys try out the hairstyle or send me a photo on DM I would love to see you guys in the stunning queen waves but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys in the next one bye